Are you looking to improve the flow from your reverse osmosis drinking water system? Well, I'm going to show you how and I'm going to show you right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy. I own Water East Store and the Water Store in Midland. We simplify water filtration to fulfill your hope for a happy, healthy life. If you found that the flow from your reverse osmosis tap has recently slowed down to much less than it was at one time, then it's probably a problem within the tank. The tank needs to be recharged. So I have a different video that talks about that. And again, I'll put a link in the cards up above or in the description down below so you can check that out before going ahead. But what we're talking about today is improving the flow of any reverse osmosis system so that uh, you get more water flowing out of the tap. And uh, so a couple of things you have to consider. These systems actually make water very slowly and that's why you have the tank. So the flow actually comes from the tank. So one of the best ways to make sure you get good flow right from the beginning is by uh, purchasing a, a reverse osmosis system like this great Water Saver 75 that amongst a lot of other great features, it also has the 3 8 inch tubing coming from the tank through the last filter into the faucet. And that really makes a huge difference because obviously you can push a lot more water through a 3 8 inch tubing than you can through the quarter inch tubing that a lot of the, the lesser reverse osmosis systems have. So the next thing you should consider is where the tank is located. So the closer the tank is to the faucet, the better your flow. So generally speaking, if the tank is installed immediately underneath the kitchen sink, that will give you the, the best flow. Now in some situations, that may not make sense. Like in my house, for example, the, the reverse osmosis system and the tank are both installed in the basement and uh, just because of space uh, restrictions. But to improve the flow, what you can do is you can add a second tank. And uh, again, in my situation, I have the one tank in the basement, but I have the other, the other tank just underneath the kitchen sink. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So what you would do is uh, you would cut the, you know, you'd turn off the water to the system, of course, first. You'd shut off the, the main shut off to the reverse osmosis system. You'd turn off the tank by turning the valve 90 degrees. And then you'd open up the faucet to release the pressure. Now, you are going to are gonna spill a little bit of water doing this process, but it won't be very much. So just have some towels or that kind of thing available. So then what you're going to do is you're going to take the tubing that's going to the tank and you're going to want to cut that tubing. So as you can see, we were using this one earlier, so it uh, has water in it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to uh, put a 3 8 inch T in the line. So these are quick connect fittings that we're using and if you're not sure how to use quick connect fittings, I have a great video and again, I'll put a link in the cards up above and in the description down below. And then what you can do is you can add another tank to the whole system. So at this point, you can add a tank the same size that would give you double the, the capacity and double the flow or you can go with a great big tank like this 14 gallon one, great big one here. These are the ones that we install in kennels and other situations where the food processing where they need a lot of water, a lot of reverse osmosis water to be ready and to be ready to be used. So, um, but for this, we'll just use a, a same size tank. So then you're going to use the shut off. So all the fittings that I'm talking about in this um, video, I'm going to put uh, links down below in the description so you know which ones to order. And uh, although this is for a 3 8 inch tubing system. I will also put links in there for the same products or the same items that you would use to use it uh, with a quarter inch system if that's what you have right now. So then all you would do is you would hook the tubing up to this tank like so and we'll connect it up to the T like so. And, uh, and again, what you can do is you can put the second tank right underneath the faucet, even though this one's in the basement, or you can have them both in the basement, but to optimize the flow right underneath the faucet is the best spot. Then what you do is you turn the water back onto the system by opening up the, the supply line, and then open up the, the flow from the existing tank, and then check for leaks. Make sure that uh, obviously you take care of any leaks at this point, but if you don't have any leaks, then you could open up the second tank and then wait till everything fills up. Once it's full, you'd be amazed at the difference of the flow, especially for the first uh, half tank or whatever, because now you've got, that's when you get the most amount of flow is when the tanks are 100% full. So now you've got twice as much time at that higher flow level. Like I say, check out the difference, check it out at my house. So I have one tank shut off underneath the sink. The one in the basement is still on. Both tanks are full. So let's see how long it takes to fill this big 14 ounce glass.
So you can see just over 10 seconds, that's pretty good. So what I'll do now is I'll turn on the tank that's under the sink. So now we're going to do the same thing. I'll just reset this and we'll do the same thing with uh, two tanks turned on. So you can see how much faster the flow is. Five seconds. So you can see twice as fast with twice as many tanks works great. Any one of these three ideas will definitely improve the flow from your reverse osmosis drinking water system. But if you combine all three, that'll give you the best flow. And by the way, just so you know, we offer free shipping and discount pricing on all the items we talked about here today, reverse osmosis tanks, systems, and a full line of water filtration products. I'll put a link in the card up above and in the description down below so you can check it out. And that's it. If you like what we saw today, please click the subscribe button if you haven't already. For some more information, you can go to our websites, either waterstoremidland.com or watereastor.ca in Canada or watereastor.com in the United States. And that playlist I was talking to about, about our reverse osmosis uh, systems, I'll put a, a link up here that you can check it out. And uh, lots of great information there for you and your family. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy. Thanks for watching.